Hello everyone. Today 19 June 2016, and today I'm going to uh, discuss, uh, analyze uh, one of the most important events that so far has happened in uh, yesterday, actually, in the Indian economy. It's been, uh, I think, a couple of months since I came in front of you to talk about uh, 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 the Indian economy, you know. Uh, but this is the right time, I guess. This is one of the important events that is going to have uh, uh, longer term repercussions on the Indian economy. So I decided to just uh, come in front of you guys and discuss about it a little bit. So basically, the issue that I'm talking about is uh, yesterday the RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan, RBI is the Central Bank of India, uh, Governor Raghuram Rajan uh, decided not to take up the second term of his governorship under the Modi government. Uh, there was some tussle going on between uh, Raghuram Rajan, not from the Rajan side, but from the Modi government and his uh, MPs, you know, member of parliament, especially uh, Subramaniam Swami's side. So Subramaniam Swami, who is a, a notorious, you know, minister of uh, Modi government, uh, who he was constantly uh, personally and professionally bashing Ra Ra Raghuram Rajan. So uh, I'm going to discuss. So I you know because of that, because you know that is one of the reasons. Because of that, Raghuram Rajan, you know, decided uh, yesterday he you know announced in the internal letter to the RBI staff that he will no longer continue as the governor of the Reserve Bank of India, and who would like to go back to his uh, academic work. He said that I belong to the world of ideas and you know I, I no longer want to be over here and he is a professor of uh, I think uh, uh, finance in the Chicago uh, Booth School of Business, Chicago University. So he will be going back to uh, America uh, and as I said because this important, this you know, yesterday it took everybody by surprise. Uh, not me, because I was actually expecting Raghuram Rajan to uh, resign from uh, his position of RBI governorship. Uh, so what I will do today is, you know, I will I, I have divided my talk into two parts. So in the first part, we will see why Raghuram Rajan, you know, ultimately uh, crack, ultimately decided to uh, not, you know, take up the second term of uh, a governorship of RBI. He basically resigned from his position. Uh, in September, his uh, renewal was coming up. He decided not to take take that up. So we'll discuss in the first part what are the reasons, uh, and then in the second most important part, what we will do is we will discuss the uh, impact, a potential impact of his decision, and uh, most importantly, the decision of the Modi government now of whom to replace Rajan with. The new replacement that which is going to come up, uh, I know a couple of names, I think six, seven names, six, seven names are coming up so far in the news media. Uh, so w what that replacement governor is going to do and what kind of policies that governor, future governor is going to follow. I'm going to talk a little bit about that thing in the second part. So let's talk about the first part, why Raghuram Rajan decided, as I already mentioned or alluded to, that uh, it was, you know, uh, primarily the uh, uh, very bitter attacks from Subramaniam Swami, uh, and uh, after the attacks coming from him, uh, very little support, you know, getting from the Modi government. Modi was very quiet, you know. In fact, he's very quiet since he assumed the power two years ago. He is barely speaking, you know, giving any comments about any of the major issues that are coming up. He's very busy into his foreign, you know, tours basically. So uh, he did not say a single word, you know, publicly. Uh, Jaitley did come in support of uh, Rajan, but not really, you know, very aggressively. And a huge, you know, internal, you know, sources are saying that the huge uh, contingent of the BJP Hindutva Party was against Raghuram Rajan. Uh, remember, Raghuram Rajan was appointed by the past uh, UPA government. He was a choice of um, uh, Manmohan Singh and Chidambaram. So obviously, they wanted to replace him because of that also. Uh, but there was a lot of pressure from the international investors, the international financial institutions to keep Rajan going because, you know, in their eyes and uh, uh, objectively speaking, also Raghuram Rajan is obviously uh, has a very good grip, uh, not as good as, you know, one would, you know, expect from him, but has a very good grip over uh, economic theories. He, he is ultimately a Keynesian, as we will discuss in the second part. 
but he also knew about the other schools of thought and uh, he has been kind of famous in uh, in academia as somebody who saw the 2007 financial crisis coming uh, into his 2005 paper he kind of many are saying that he predicted the financial crisis which started in 2007 and still going on so many think that he had a very great you know good grip over the you know economic theory and that's why he was a uh, you know, good policy maker uh, many good you know big investors you know are Mark Faber people like Mark Faber etc they were giving him good marks that many were ready to in fact uh, nominate him for the uh, economic prize in a uh, Nobel economic prize anyway but as I said you know uh, uh, the the Modi government you know the since coming to power you know the only you know way in which they want to revive the Indian economy which is you know into trouble since you know quite a long time is that uh, they want to print a lot of money they reduce the interest rate by printing a lot of money and then flood the economy with all this so-called investment it's not investment it's just you know cheap funny unbacked fiduciary media credit but they think that if they can you know kind of uh, jumpstart the economy by boosting the consumption and spending a lot of money on infrastructure and everything so both like fiscal stimulus and you know kind of monetary stimulus uh, by doing that they are thinking that, that that can bring the economy out of this you know recession and uh, Modi has very grand plans about you know smart cities and make in India and clean the river Ganga and uh, you know and so many other things uh, on which he wants to spend a lot of money and obviously that money is got you know you know lies uh, with the Raghuram you know RBI and Raghuram Rajan was in charge of that so he was uh, quite adamant in reducing the interest rate that's what these guys are saying uh, if you see the fact that in fact he did reduce the interest rate for you know like more than four times in the last couple of years since he came to you know this position uh, when he came in you know 2013 September 2013 uh, the rupee was like trading at 70 against dollar it was in very bad shape so he initially you know jacked up the interest rate a little bit uh, but then under pressure from Modi government he was actually reducing the interest rate but uh, many people thought from the industries and obviously from the government you know uh, finance minister Jaitley and Modi that that was not enough they really want to reduce the interest rate very aggressively and send the message that we are going to spend money so they think that that is going to revive the economy so Rajan was not doing that in, and uh, off late he was also becoming very critical of uh, Modi government's you know policies uh, into you know a lot of his you know speeches in different parts of the world in India also he was severely criticizing making political statements which are you know very important because he is a citizen of India so he can talk like that also but they they were very uncomfortable about that so that's why Subramanian Swami was he started attacking him you know like uh, in the last three months time or so he was saying he was alleging that he is not you know Indian from the heart which is a typical statement coming from a Hindu nationalist party is you know member of parliament uh, he said that his heart is not here he's you know basically American professor so he is you know heart and mind is in America uh, that's all nonsense and uh, we want to focus on uh, you know what Raj, you know what Swami is saying on economic front he said that his you know policies of not reducing the interest rate is really hurting the economy and you know his talk of stopping inflation is actually hurting the growth so that phony trade-off between you know inflation and growth uh, is what uh, Subramaniam Swami was talking about so uh, all these you know all these arguments and then uh, Rajan also tried to clean up the banks you know bad loans you know clean up the book of the bank because the Indian banking sector is in a huge debt you know they have you know kind of given a lot of loan and that loan is not coming back non-performing assets are huge like lakhs of crores of rupees so that you know a uh, volcano is going to erupt in future because I don't think so that you know books of these banks can be cleaned without any kind of knee-jerk impact a huge impact on the Indian economy without any kind of big big bust you know big slowdown in the economy so Rajan was trying to do that he implemented you know four or five different kind of steps and that's why banks were also severely critical of him because they were not able to lend money and government wanted banks to lend money and he was he wanted to you know kind of 
uh, increase the capital adequacy ratio of the banks and everything. So they did not like that. So Swami was attacking him on that front and he was not actually saying anything. Uh, as I said, when Swami was attacking him, uh, Modi did not you know, come out and defend the Rajan. Jaitley also did not really defend Rajan. So in in last few I think in last few time in a week's time, uh, Rajan had a meeting with you know Modi and Jaitley, and after that he was giving some signs that he might continue. But suddenly something has happened, and he you know yesterday he decided that it's uh, too much and personal attacks are too much, and he I think he he decided to resign and he is no longer taking the job. Anyway, so what I'm saying is that uh, I think most of the allegations of Swami are obviously incorrect because. Neither Swami, I think, nor even Raghuram Rajan understands why the Indian economy is into trouble. Rajan has some knowledge, you know, he, he knows that manipulation of the interest rate is dangerous and that's the reason why he was very cautious. And we needed cautious people at RBI this time. See, I am not in support of the central bank at all, so I am not going to defend Raghuram Rajan or anything like that. Well, uh, the whole analysis is only relative. So like compared to other central banks, he was not very aggressive in cutting the interest rate. Like Bank of Japan is having negative interest rate, ECB is having negative interest rate. You know, in America interest rates are like zero for like six, seven years. But here also the real rates are zero, but at least the nominal rates are like 6.7%, 7%. And as I said, the interest rates were coming down in India. Recently, they were, you know, Indian government cut the saving rates and everything. but. It is not enough for Modi's government and under Modi, I think, personally. So they decided to go after him. So what I want to talk about now is, you know, uh, as I said, it's relative. It, he was cautious, so that was important. Now, what is going to happen when he is gone? So, you know, uh, what will happen now? I don't know, Monday, tomorrow, there will be like, possibly the market will crash because the financial, international financial, you know, international investors are not going to take this... Uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, event uh, lightly because they wanted Raghuram Rajan to stay at the helm of RBI. So now that he has decided to go, I think they will try to pull money back. So the rupee will come under pressure because you know people are going to sell rupee. So what is going to happen is rupee exchange rate will come under pressure, and obviously stock market will you know kind of go down a little bit here and there. But that's not important. What is more important is, as I said. Uh, what will be the replacement of Raghuram Rajan? Rajan was cautious, that's why, and he was not listening to Modi and Arun Jaitley. So that's why he was removed. That means whom they're going to replace in Rajan with. Obviously somebody who is going to listen to Modi and Jaitley, who is going to, you know, do exactly as what the BJP's Hindu nationalist government is going to tell him, expecting from him. That, that means reducing the interest rates very, very aggressively and not caring for fiscal deficit or not caring for inflation, uh, they will go for growth. Like people like Subramaniam, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, Panagaria and Subramaniam, other guy who is from Peterson Institute, they are already saying that the Indian government should not focus on inflation targeting or whatever. Don't worry about inflation, just go after growth, just spend money and that will kickstart the economy. So the replacement of Rajan is going to be somebody who is going to be basically uh, a guy who is going to gain a flag to Narendra Modi and Arun Jaitley. And many people are thinking that instead of having an academician, a professor, uh, you know, as a governor of RBI, we are probably going to have some bureaucrat. And bureaucracy in power that that means dangerous situation so the replacement they are talking about like six seven people I don't know who is going to be there but whoever is going to be there the replacement is going to be somebody who is going to listen to Modi listen to Modi means what they're going to do is they are going to reduce the rate now and then they're going to spend money and that means they are going to create inflation in the Indian economy Indian economy is already highly inflationary. Recently, the prices of tobacco and different kind of pulses are like rising like crazy. Nothing comes, you know, you know, under 100 rupees per kilogram. So that is just the beginning. You know, if you know the, this new replacement is very likely to spend money like crazy because they are going to. They are thinking. Their Keynesians are. They are thinking that consumption is more important. 
So then I think the prices of everything is just going to go berserk, skyrocket, because I know right now, at least Rajan was a little bit cautious. These guys are going to reduce the interest rate and that is really going to have a huge, huge impact on the Indian economy. As I said, three things will happen. The economic theory is very clear about this thing. When you manipulate the market interest rate by printing the currency, lowering the rates, what happens is three things. First thing, they're going to generate a lot of uh, bubbles in different sectors. You know, many bubbles are already there, auto market, real estate market. These bubbles are probably going to, you know, become more bigger. And more bigger the bubble, the bigger the bust is going to be in future. So the pain is going to be extreme in future, right? And what is going to happen is second effect will be price inflation, means prices of everything is just going to go through the roof because they're going to print and just spend all this money. And third thing is, you know, the income inequality is going to rise like anything. All this newly printed money is going to go to the friends of Narendra Modi government, cronies. And they are going to become super duper rich people like Ambani's and Adani's and Tatar's and Bilas. And people like you and me, common guys, we are going to become poorer and poorer because our salaries are not rising. We are not getting that freshly printed money in the beginning. We get it at the end. So when we get it at the end, the prices have already risen. So we are going to face this price inflation head on. And that means poor are going to become poorer and the rich are going to become rich, not because of anything to do with market, it's all because of the governments, you know, lose monetary policy. And and this is dangerous. Uh, in this scenario now, what is going to happen is, you know, what we need to do now, you know, when the bureaucrat is going to become the governor of the Reserve Bank of India and when they're going to start their lose money policies, uh, the only refuge that people like you and me are going to have is uh, gold and silver. So you will have to hold on to your gold and silver very tightly now. This is the time when you're going to need that, right? Because as I said, the guy who was cautious, Rajan, the guy who was at least talking about, you know, kind of fighting inflation, and he was in fact a little bit adamant in reducing the rates also, he is gone now, right? Modi government was hell-bent on removing him and they successfully removed him. And they are going to put some monetary policy down into the place of Rajan who was a hawk, hawk means he was not reducing the rates, uh, Dow means somebody who is going to aggressively follow the policy of reducing the interest rates. So they are going to replace Rajan with some kind of Dow, maybe they can put Subramanian Swami in place and finish off everything in one go, why you know give this kind of slow poison to people, slow inflation is like slow poison, they are killing us bit by bit. I think it is better that they put somebody like you know Subramanian Swami in charge because he was so critical of Rajan, maybe he can, you know, become the head of uh, RBI and he can, you know, do whatever he wants to so just print a bunch of money and finish off the Indian economy with hyperinflationary depression. So I think this is the direction in which we are going now, hyperinflationary de depression. Rajan was also not very different, as I said. The only thing was the pace is likely to quicken now because Rajan was also playing inside the 3 by 5 card of the Keynesian ideas. It was just either increasing the rate or decreasing the rate. Uh, there was no new thinking like questioning the authority of the RBI itself, questioning the whole monetary central planning itself and replacing it with some kind of market-based commodity money, gold standard for example. That kind of thinking was also not coming from Rajan. He was just a bit cautious about inflation and he was worried about the financial condition of the bank. Uh, so what is going to happen now, the, the new governor as I said is not going to be very cautious, it's very likely. And that means a lot of, you know, dangers for us in future. So, and as I say, this is what I wanted to talk about today. I think uh, Rajan's exit in future is going to have a big impact. Because remember, a low interest rate is the problem. Manipulation of the interest rate is the problem. It, it's not because Rajan was not reducing the rate. That's why the Indian economy was saying. In, in fact, it was... The previous governors who reduced the rate too much, manipulated with the interest rate too much, that's why the Indian economy is struggling right now. If you stop manipulating the interest rate, then it will not struggle, you know, a little bit depression and then you are back on a normal path. But they did that and Rajan was trying to just balance everything out, fine tune, but as I said, which was impossible, right, you can't play some, you know, a, a role of a god, even a god comes, he will not be able to manage the economy single-handedly. 
it's market forces job you know people together coming and voluntarily exchanging things with each other which brings the harmony in the market any interference from the government is going to create disturbances discord and revolutions out of that right people are going to get frustrated angry and then out of that you know revolutions come so I think we are heading into that direction in present time so uh, dire times of in the dire times of in future you know uh, we have to keep looking at it Rajan's exit means Modi is going to put his guy into uh, RBI and that guy is going to print hell a lot of money for sure so hold on to your gold and silver right tightly and just take care of yourself out there I'll come back again and something important or when they will you know you know announce the replacement of Rajan and then discuss what that guy you know means you know I already told you that it's going to be more money printing in future but anyway when that will happen I'll come back again and talk about it thank you very much for watching me good night